Hi everyone, in today's tutorial, we are gonna learn about how to download Python on Mac operating system. Well, Python is a free open source programming language that is available for everyone to use. So let's see how we can download it. So first of all, go on Google and type download Python and you will go to the website python.org. So let's click on that. And there, there are a lot of options to download latest version of Python, as you can see here, download Python 3.1, 2.5. And you can go actually further down and see all the different versions are there, different releases. You can choose whichever you want to download. But in today's tutorial, 3.12.5 is the latest version which we are going to download. So simply click on that. You will see it starts downloading. Once it's downloaded, we will simply go to the download folder and here we will open that one. So it will open a pop-up window which will give us an option to install Python. So simply click on continue. Readme is the important information. If you like to go through all of it and you are happy with it, just simply click continue. And then it is going to show you the software license agreement. And again, like read through it. And once you are happy with it, click continue. And you have to agree to that software license agreement to continue. So let's agree and installation type. It will ask us to make sure that if you have 179.5 MB of space on your computer, if it is, you click on install and it will ask you to put the admin password to continue the installation. So I will put that and you will see the installation starts after pressing continue and it's installing python so once the python is installed it will op open this pop-up window and it shows here that python is completely installed so let's close that window and the installer file if you want to keep it you can keep it otherwise simply move it to the bin and now we have python installed on our computer so once python is installed you will see a pop-up window with idle app, Python launcher app, and other documentation here. So we can go into Python or start editing code or writing code using these app, but let's go to the terminal first and look at that option. So I had the terminal window open so you can see it here, but let's, let's try to do it from scratch. So I will quit this. So how you can get the terminal window. So you can go to the launch pad and you can go to other section here, click on that and you will go to the terminal window. So let's go to the terminal window and here let's try to see the version of Python which is installed. So for that we simply have to write Python 3 and version and you will see here Python 3.12.5 is installed. And let's look at the Python package manager as well which is pip 3 and let's check the version for that as well and you will see it's pip 24.2 and it is from the location library framework python framework version this and that's how you can actually see the versions of python and the pip library pip package manager so now when we have done this one now let's type python 3 to get into the python REPL where you can write the code so in this case if you say 3 plus 2 what is it it will give you the answer as 5 so in this case, you can simply print hello world. And I have a spelling mistake here, but you know what I mean. So let's let's type to print something else. So let's say print hi. So that way you can start writing the code here and playing around with it. And now the other thing is idle app. So let's click on this idle app and you will see a window up here. So it is exactly the same. It opens the Python REPL where you can write the code and exactly the same way what we did on the terminal, we can type it here, the code, and it will give us the answer. And we can also do the print command, the basic standard command, hello, and it will type in print. Okay, let's click on Python launcher and you will see the preference window comes up. And here we have all the different options and the checkbox for running it in the terminal window and all the different options. So you can select the reset to factory setting if you want to go back to the factory setting or you can change as per your needs. 
So now let's go to the terminal again and let's try to create a Python file which we want to run through the terminal as well. So in this case, I will go to a particular directory where we will create a new file. So in this particular file, we have an existing Python file, but let's try to create a new one. So for that, we will simply type touch test.python and you will see once we type that, a test.python file is created. So simply right click on that and you can open it with the idle app and you will see the pop-up window and here we will write hello command again and we will try to print that so in this case we will save this file by pressing command s and close that window and we will close the idle shell as well here and we will go into our terminal and here let me make it bigger in the terminal here we will simply type python3 and then test.py and once we do that you will see hello is printed so that's how you can install and run the python code and python files now let's see how we can uninstall it right so for that we go to our folder and we go to our hard drive and let's go to library and then go to frameworks and here you will see the python framework installed the simplest way to uninstall is just click on that and move it to bin and if you have multiple version then you can go to different versions and delete that folder one by one so that's how simple it is to install and uninstall python on the mac operating system if you have any questions or need any more clarification feel free to drop a message in the section below Thank you.